Charles Leclerc's nightmare start to the 2023 season has just got even worse. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc will start the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix with a 10-place grid penalty to deal another hammer blow to his chances of catching Max Verstappen. The Monegasque star has endured a nightmare start to the 2023 campaign after retiring from the curtain raiser in Bahrain 10 days ago and now faces being left behind by Red Bull and Mercedes in the championship. Leclerc was forced to retire from third place during the race when an issue arose with his car's electronic control unit, AQ, costing him and the team 15 points in the process. He had already used one of the parts on Saturday after a similar failure occurred during qualifying. Carlos Sainz came home in fourth to salvage some pride for Ferrari but their dismay was only exacerbated by Red Bull's dominant 1-2 finish in Bahrain which means Ferrari are already 31 points adrift in the Constructors' Championship. And now, Leclerc faces an uphill task of scoring points at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix in Jeddah on Sunday as he will start with a 10-place grid drop. Team principal Frederick Basseur said on Wednesday that Leclerc's car had two problems with the AQ on race day, meaning he will need to have a third fitted for the race on Sunday. Drivers are restricted to two AQs for an entire season, meaning Leclerc will be heavily penalized and he could face more grid drops later in the season too. Ferrari were confident the issue would not affect them in Saudi Arabia as the part was initially thought to be undamaged, and now Leclerc will be forced to fight through the field to have a chance of getting back on the podium. Basur said he was optimistic the Italian manufacturer have found the answer to the problem after a disastrous opening race. It is something we have never experienced in the past and I hope now it is under control, Basur said. But unfortunately we will have to take the penalty in Jeddah because we only have a pool of two AQs for the season. It is the latest issue in a long line of problems Leclerc and Ferrari have faced relating to engine reliability and mechanical failures since the start of last season, with speculation suggesting the 25-year-old is not happy over his current situation with the team. Reports in Italy claimed Leclerc wrote to Ferrari CEO Johan Elkan to air his frustration about the team's inability to compete with Verstappen in terms of outright pace. The Scuderia appeared to have the quickest car and were primed to challenge Red Bull for both championships until reliability issues wrecked their hopes of ending a 15-year wait for a driver's crown. Strategic errors towards the end of the season then cost him dearly in the driver's standings, as he finished third behind Sergio Perez.